Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm starting a Let's Play. It's the Grand Tour video game. Just installed it. Should be a lot of fun. As love this show with Top Gear when they did it with James May, Hammond and Jeremy Clarkson. So, yeah. But, I will only continue this let's play if you guys want me to continue doing this so hopefully we can have a lot of fun playing this so let's start uh yes i agree okay single player season one the holy trinity Play from start. Now, luckily, I don't get copyright strikes from these cutscenes. So I've seen other YouTubers and they don't. So I'll shut up so you can listen if you want to. If you don't want to listen to it, obviously, just skip ahead to the gameplay. So we're about to play. Yep, getting into the action now. Jeremy Clarkson. Should be a fun game. So yeah, if you want me to continue this Let's Play, hit that like button and also comment if you want to see more of this video of this uh, game because I would be more than happy to do some more videos on this let's play as it seems like a pretty good game I say that as we just overtaken by both of them it's a very arcadey feel I'll retry that, but I'll. Nah, no, didn't even get time to. <laughs> didn't know there was a time limit for it, but whatever. A right, very arcadey feeling game. And I'll shut up here as well.
He was born. He was born in 1836. He was fired by Car Magazine, fired by Auto Car Magazine, fired by Scotland on Sunday, and somehow he managed to get fired by a Volvo dealership. Probably for driving too slowly, ladies and gentlemen, James Bay! Thank you, thank you, you're very kind. And, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, you probably can't see him from the back, but I assure you, he is here. He was fired by Radio York, fired by Radio Leeds, and fired by Radio Lancashire. It's Richard Hammond! Hello, hello, thank you. Thank you, and, Ladies and gentlemen, over here, he's, he's basically a shaved ape in a shirt, and he technically is the only one of us never to be fired by anyone. It's Jeremy Clarkson! Thank you so much. Anyway, we are all car journalists, and we have spent the last 20 years... Being fired. Yes. But we have poured everything we know, everything we care about, into this show. <laughs> everything. And coming up now is a small montage of what you can expect over the next 12 weeks. <laughs> Are we ready, gentlemen? I d honestly, I don't know. Is that the size of the drop, or what's happened to his... You're looking at magnificence! Help! This is bad! James says we've got to stop the fuel. There's no dignity in that, is there? because we're kicking off with this. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> the thing is, though, various supercar makers have now taken the sort of polar bear-friendly technology from a Prius, and they're now using it to create raw, naked speed. Now, I say the best of these hybrid hypercars is the mad, swivel-eyed, 
McLaren P1. Whereas Richard Hammond, who's wrong... I'm not wrong. He is, because he says the best is actually the rather boring Porsche 918. It's not boring. Yes, it is. It isn't. Mm. It isn't. But whatever, we decided to meet up with the cars and settle this once and for all. about to play. Got a nice long cutscene there. And we're starting in the P1. Very nice. We got to beat Hammond. Very tidy. Not really though. We passed the one, the nine one eight. And we're almost halfway through this. Oh, Hammond's just spun us around. Now we're sure to come second. Actually, we're gaining. You can see him right there. And we've just passed him. So we actually might get first now. 90 and yep, first place. The location we chose for this titanic duel was Portugal. Specifically, the international racetrack, the Algarve. When we arrived, mechanics from Porsche and McLaren pounced on our cars, fettling them for what was to come. Soon the McLaren and the Porsche are <coughs> ready for some shakedown laps. And for these, we decided we'd drive each other's cars. So now we're driving the 918. Plint tire smoke with square. Jeez, th yeah, this is very arcadey. So arcadey, it's almost hard to control. Try and save some speed here to get a good drift. Did that quite well. Another drift here. Around the corner. No, that one's poor. And now ninety. Come on. Almost stack gold. And we got it. One thousand six hundred. Absolutely. Brilliant. Now we've got the P1 now. I think. Jesus. This is frightening. That's what 
what it is. Less screaming and crying, so can't let him get scared of this thing. So if you're wanting to buy this game, most of you are probably Australian, so it's twenty uh, $22.95, so basically $23. Uh, so far it seems pretty good. The graphics for this game are pretty good for a yeah, $23 game. And I'm enjoying it so far. Mainly because uh, yeah, the... I didn't, I never thought they would have done a game with these with Top Gear or the Grand Tour. It's amazing. When I heard they were doing this, I got out my seat. I was like, how would the I never thought they would do something like this. I never thought they'd make a game. So we're seventy percent through of the track. Haven't frightened him once so we on gold ninety percent and the rest is straight away can't really frighten him in a straight away there we go another gold Jesus. this recalibrates your mind I didn't think anything could be as exciting as that Porsche, but this, this is. What a car. I love it. Well? This is rubbish. <laughs> I was just thinking exactly the same about this. Where are you? This was boring <laughs> me to death. It was like being stuck in a Victorian woman's novel. But I'd rather that than being stuck in a telephone box with a panicking gorilla. Rubbish. It was trying to kill me. I mean, it's no, to hurt me. It wants to hurt oh, me. That's why I like it. Razor blade in the hands of a surgeon, sickle in the hands of a drunk peasant. Schooner of sherry, absinthe. <coughs> what are you doing here? I am here because, gentlemen, I have in the back of that lorry something that will make your McLaren and your Porsche look like lumps of yesteryear. The uh, La Ferrari. I reckon this is probably the best looking car out of the three. So we're going to drive this now. Remember the last time a car or indeed any sort of thing gave me a fizz like the Ferrari, the Ferrari. It's fizz o'clock, so get we're gonna try and get five lots of fizz. Gotta start over because we hit the cones. One piece. Damn it. Come on, you've got the second one. it again. Come on. Try and get another one. No, we won't. Got silver. Not too bad, I guess. This, I believe, will absolutely minge the other two. Oh, man! James was obviously talking nonsense. <laughs> But there's no getting around the fact that these three cars take automotive sauce 
to a new level. They use the latest green technology to squeeze as much speed as possible from every molecule of fuel. As a result, they're all capable of blasting way past 200 miles an hour while producing fewer harmful emissions than a family saloon. Here then are three incredible machines which at a stroke have made the traditional supercar look wooden and old-fashioned. Welcome everyone to the Hypercar Holy Trinity. Uh, let's select the P1. So now we're racing. May. Let's make the first test a drag race using electrical power only. Good idea. No, it isn't a good idea. Shh. Why not? Because you can't drive the Ferrari on electrical power only. No. <laughs> no, but of course you can't because it's it's a curse system like a Formula One car. It's got a V12 engine and an electric motor, but they're all integrated. They work together all of the time. You can't separate them. You should have thought about that, shouldn't you? Bad planning. With James reduced to the role of onlooker, we lined up the P1 and the 918 on the start line. But then, instead of revving the petrol engines, we shut them down. Get ready, I'm up. Three, two, one, go! That's a good start, and we're beating Jeremy. Let's just get in his way. Uh, and well, just like that, we win. <laughs> who, who won that? I th it was me, wasn't it? Yeah, but it's not important, though, is it? Is it not? No, it's just not relevant. Right, right. In a drag race, it's irrelevant which car gets there first. Yeah, yours is the better milk float. <laughs> Back in the pits, Hammond had an idea for the next test. We've got to drive to the hotel, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. It's about an hour away, and it gives us a chance to see what they're like on the road. That's a good point. Real world. That is a good point. I can't do that. I can't... <laughs> well, I can't drive the Ferrari on the road. Why? Well, it's not registered. It is, it's got number plates. No, 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 just, that's just pretend number plates. If they register it, it becomes second hand and they have to pay the tax. That's why it came in a lorry. So you can't drive it on the road, eh, either? Nobody can drive it. It's not road legal. Oh, no. Mate, that's... Oh, oh that is such, such a shame. It's an hour of... Oh, sorry, James. That is, that's really a rotten bit of luck, because you've come a long <laughs> way from Italy. Soon, Richard... 
Richard and I were enjoying the world's best ever commute. So I got two some more driving on the main well, just roads. Claim got hammered now. Come on, no, hit the wall. Have to try and get fifty plus meters in front of Jeremy, and that's not gonna happen when I keep hitting the walls. Go into the corner and hit the wall again. Come on, catch up to Jeremy. We're gaining, we're gaining fast. We're about to overtake him, but we've hit the wall again. Come on, I'll break. Yes, just saved her there. We're losing Jeremy. Come on. Start gaining. No. And now it's over. Yeah, we're definitely not going to win now. Seventy percent done. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna win. With like a game that feels so arcade, you don't really think about using the brakes. Yep. Says we're a toilet. King Trophy Unlock in Italian. Oh, God. Yes, 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 yes. Later on in part two, when these two have stopped dreaming of idiotic and irrelevant tests that it can't take part in, we shall see. We've got to tell everyone about our track. Yes, we have one. This is the sort of place where you can drive cars at speeds that you can do on the road, but only if you want to go to prison afterwards. What, like 38 miles an hour? Well, 39, maybe even 40 <laughs> from time to time. Now, uh, we were hoping that we could bring it round the world with us, like the tent, uh, but unfortunately it's too heavy. <laughs> and, as you're about to see, too bitey. This is it. It's not a race circuit. It's not an airfield. It's not a road. What it is, is brilliant and fast. And extremely dangerous. It even looks dangerous on a map because, as you can see, it's the exact same shape as the Ebola virus. Right, time now to show you what a lap looks like. And to do that, we've got a bit of a performance benchmark a Ferrari 488. Take it away. So, we're about to go again. Take it away. So I don't know how long this video is going to go for. I don't know how long it's gone for already. Probably gone for about 20 minutes already. Come on. So we got to get a one minute lap time. Why didn't it turn? I used the handbrake but it just didn't want to turn. It resisted in turn. On. Into the corner. Crap. Come on. Oh crap. Look, we already got the minute. We got the minute lap time. And because it's in England, usually quite a lot of moisture in the air. 
It really is the most dangerous track anywhere in the world. The car I've selected for my first lap of the Ebola drone is this. The BMW M2. So we're about to play again. <coughs> so we got to get some drifting as well. This corner, oh yes, what a good drift that that was. Come on, right here as well. We've already got a silver. Unleashed Oh, we've already got this the gold. Now I've just got to get to the finish line. So, once again, you guys, so let me know if you do want to see more videos on this Let's Play. Obviously, hit the thumbs up and comment if you do. To, that will let me know if you guys really do want to see more of these, of this Let's Play. I'll be more than happy to do it. I'm enjoying this game. I'll show up for this cutscene. There are fast corners, slow corners, drifty corners, and bumps. It's hard on the tires, it's hard on the brakes, it's hard on the engine. It's point and squirt and bark and yelp. It is vicious. But there is nothing here which has flummoxed the M2. This thing is an absolute masterpiece. Like I said, it is the best M car BMW's ever made. You may think it's mad to suggest the cheapest M car is the best, but look at it this way. This track is a lot cheaper than Silverstone. And I know which one I'd rather drive round. Let me get this right. At our track, yeah. there's trees, mm -hmm. animals, moisture, yeah. electricity, a house, and an unexploded bomb. Yeah. Like I said, it's the most dangerous track in the world. Honestly, it makes Imola look like a duvet. Yeah. It really, honestly, it does. It anyway, does. all the cars that we test at the Ebola drone will do a timed lap. And to make sure it's a completely level playing field, they will all be driven by the same racing driver. Yeah. Oh, that is. It gave it some thought. How clever is that? Now, <laughs> thing is, Amazon, okay, insisted that the racing driver in question should be from this side of the pond. So we went to something called NASCAR, <laughs> and we found one and we shipped him to England, and then we introduced him to the complicated procedure which involves turning right. <laughs> He's called Mike Skinner, but he's <laughs> <certainly laughs> <is> the American. <laughs> right, there he is, looking utterly bewildered. So we're about to play. Got to get a one minute nine lap time. Should be easy, we did it, we got 55 seconds before. Come on, let's go. Oh, that was a good corner. That was a great corner, except for that part. We're halfway through, going through this corner. Through the straightaway, coming up to this corner. 
Bob's right corner here. Past the old lady's house. Gold by like less than by milliseconds. I'll take the silver though. Now to make sure that the M2 uh, wasn't on sort of the lap board all by itself, we got the American to put uh, we to put some other benchmark cars. Well, we call them benchmark cars. He calls them communist. Um, around the track to see what's what. There they all are. Look. Now it's time to see where the M2 goes on that board. Let's have a look. Let's put it on. Oh. <laughs> wow! Wow! It's, it's I think it's the best M car they've ever made. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, look, I prefer it to all the others that are quicker than it. It's yes, it's, <laughs> it's it's simply the one you should have if you want one that's slower oh, than all the other M cars. It's, it's better. It's only yeah. too. It's quicker than the Civic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you had a choice of M cars, if you lined them all up and yeah. said, I'd like the fastest, it wouldn't be that one. Shut up. Better in every single <laughs> way. Stop way you said. saying you said that. I don't care what. Have you driven one? Really? You, you know what? It's, it's a amazing. fabulous it's game. You've driven one. It's a uh -huh. brilliant car. It really honestly is. Yeah. This, week, this week, we are trying to find out which of the new breed of hybrid hypercars is the best. Yes, on day one at the track in Portugal, we established that the McLaren P1 is a mentalist, that the Porsche 918 is very good milk float, and that the Ferrari, the Ferrari, can do nothing at all. <laughs> Some of that is true. But now, day two. We began by lining up the three most exciting cars on the planet <coughs> for the drag race of all drag races. <coughs> Naturally, this meant engaging launch control, which in the McLaren takes about a fortnight. I have to have the drive train in track mode, the aero package in sport mode so that the rear end squats when I set off and gives me more traction. I have to have the DRS button pressed with my thumb to keep the rear wing open, which reduces drag obviously. Launch control in the Porsche, left foot on the brake, hard, right foot on the throttle, hard, light goes green, left foot off brake, ping! Launch button pressed for two seconds, left foot on brake, right foot on throttle, Press launch control, mash the throttle, within four seconds, release the brake. Three seconds later, I have full boost and I have to set off then within three seconds or the entire system disengages. I'm going to get this wrong, just so you know. I've got a lot to do in here. <laughs> Start that one. Yep, I'm retrying that one. It's not sorted, I'm retrying it. Three, two, one. That was a brilliant, that was a way better of a start. And we gain the lead and we win the drag race. Driver to see which of our cars could do the fastest lap. Our resident American said he wasn't interested because all three cars are probably communist. So instead, we went for a Belgian chap who's done Formula One and Formula E, Jerome D'Ambrosio. <laughs> 
Jerome took the cars out to get a sense of how they handled. Finished, we were interested to hear his professional opinion. La McLaren, une voiture, je pense peut-être la plus difficile à piloter. Très facile de faire une erreur. C'est vraiment une voiture de grand garçon. Il faut faire attention et, et donc pas facile de faire un tour. Je pense qu'elle est un peu moins efficace. At this point, word euh, reached us that Jeremy was Ferrari. taking liberties with the subtitling machine. <laughs> donc c'est. Euh... So we moved on to the big event. The timed laps. Once the mechanics had finished their preparations, the three speed traps were activated. And the Ferrari, the Ferrari took its place on the start line. Look how good it looks there. So we're about to drive the Ferrari La Ferrari. Let's go! So this video is probably gone for about half an hour. Probably going to be about a 40 minute video. Hope you guys don't... Uh, yeah, hope you guys don't mind... Hope you don't yeah, mind the long video. Sure, some of you probably will enjoy it. As people do seem to enjoy the long videos. So we've got an average speed of 150, but we've still got one more speed trap to go through. Come on, build up some speed. Oh, of course this one's up like right after a corner. Crap. Average of 134 miles per hour. That's a gold. That's pretty good. So, um, yeah, we're in the final straightaway now. 160. 162. Next, it was the turn of the Porsche 918. How much faster will it go because of the stripes, do you think? Much. <laughs> Let's get ready to drive this beast. Let's see how well we can do with this thing. I reckon. Very well, all wheel drive should get some more speed. 153 there. Oh, hard there. Onto the brake and the e brake. Ooh, good turn there. Going into this straight, let's try and get some good speed. 145 puts our average at 149 miles per hour. Going into the straight, coming into the U-turn corner, I, I'd call this, don't know what you'd call these in real life, like act, what you'd actually call them, but that's what I'm going to call them. Coming into the, this corner and then straight after this corner is the camera and we've got an average of 136 miles per hour, got a gold there as well. So now we can take it easy, but who cares about taking it easy? We'll take it hard as we want. Get as much power as we can out of this Porsche 918. Final stretch, 160, 165. Finally, it was the turn of the psycho killer, the trickiest, the edgiest of the three. But I was so confident it would win, I was prepared to take a massive gamble. If the McLaren isn't the fastest, 
you two can knock my house down. What? Knock it down. What, your house? Yeah, and I mean that. That's how confident I am that that will be the fastest. That's a serious... You know we will do that. Yeah. It's a serious bet. Yeah. But fine. If that's not the fastest, yeah. we can knock your house down. Yep. You know where it is. You've yes. both been. I'd love to knock it down. That's a pretty big bet. Let's take yeah, this P1 for a spin. Come on, let's see what we can do with this. Let's go. Already a hundred miles per hour. 130, 140, 150. First trap at 158 miles per hour. Coming into the corners. Tight corner here, keep the wall. Into another corner right here. Good straight away, let's try and get some speed. 130, 140, 146, an average of 152 miles per hour. Coming into a straight, and we got the U-turn corner. Get the brake on. Oh, great corner there. Into another straightaway. Into a pretty tight corner. Good line there. Corner before the last trap. Come on, let's go. Average of 140 miles per hour. That's the quickest out of the three. The other two had like 130 something. So got a gold for this as well. Very nice. B1 is a beast to drive. 140, 150, 163. With that, back boys to are ten. back. Trophy earned. it absolutely plain because I know this matters to Anorax all three cars were running on exactly the same sort of tires yes same tires same track same driver so the times are down to the cars yeah. yep and now it is time to reveal those times and let me just make it absolutely clear we don't know what they are no. the producers have kept them from us they're they top secret yeah. so let's put the scoreboard up and let's begin with the Ferrari, the Ferrari, I believe. Let's see what it did it in, please. 154.4. Oh, oh, we don't know if that's right. any good, do we? No, no. But, <laughs> well, let's move on and do the Porsche next. Let's have a look. What did the Porsche do it in? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Point two milliseconds. Than the push. I told you it's just a melon ball. It's slower than my car, which was faster than your car. Yeah, point two of a second, and it looks better. Yeah, it did in my mirror where it belongs. <laughs> it's a melon ball, and it lost. Hammond, what? Calm down. All right. Because now we must bring up the time that really matters. Yeah. The one where a lot's at stake. The McLaren, <clears throat> the McLaren P1. Are you uh, nervous? No. Sure. No. A little bit. Sure. No. Nervous. I'm not well, nervous. So why be nervous? Because you could get like a shopping trolley and keep all your things in it. <laughs> <laughs> Make some new friends under a bridge somewhere. Hammond. I'd say sell your body. Don't do that. Be quiet. Let's let's bring up the time of the P1. Here we go. Oh God. Where is it? Ha 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 ha. Looks like they're destroying his house. So that was the first part of 
the Grand Tour video game. Great game. So yeah, remember, if you want to see more of this game, hit that like button and type in the comments if you want to see more of this game. I will be more than happy to do some more episodes on this game. And just like that, this video is over. And I will see you guys later. See you guys later.